Yes, you guessed it. I am with you again in the kitchen because I was not even trying it. I actually did. I went upstairs and it was like, cannot connect to the internet. And I was like, mm -mm, nope, not even doing this today. <laughs> so, how is everyone today? Are you happy it's Thursday? We are right around the corner of Friday and the weekend. So, I have not a lot going on this weekend, which I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty excited about that. So, um, we're going to try some new stuff today. New, like, something different with your eyes and that kind of stuff. So, like, what I'm trying to do now is do my eyes first and then do my um, foundation and stuff. It seems to actually work a little better. Um, but first, we're going to put our lotion on our face. So this is the Time Correction Night Cream, but I like using it during the day because my skin does get dried out from here in Illinois. Um, so let me just put a little bit of this on. I already sprayed rose water on my face. Um, I meant to bring down what we call um, the cream that goes under your eye, and of course I left it upstairs. So that's okay. So I'm just going to wipe this all over my face. So, and I've, um, with these brushes, I love this brush. It's called the lit, the foundation brush. Um, I use this brush to put on, I have a couple of them. I use it to put on this, the, um, lotion, and I also use it to do my, um, charcoal mask. So, I love these brushes. They're flipping awesome. Hey, everybody! Hey, Tracy! Hey, April! So we're just going to put some on our face because we want to keep our face hydrated, hydrated, ha! hydrated. So hopefully this is working okay. Alright, so you just always want to make sure that you put your little plastic piece back on here because you want to make sure everything stays in. That's just like with your charcoal mask you want, and you make sure you get it on there tight, okay? So there's that. Alright, so we're going to give that just a second. Um, I need to put my light on here. Maybe that'll help a little. Yeah, a little bit. I meant to grab a hair tie, but, you know, you can't remember everything when you're moving um, your makeup from on upstairs to downstairs, which I think I got most of it. So we're doing good, or what I'm going to use today. Um, so I planned ahead. What? That'd be cray cray, yo. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's pretty dry. I mean, it's still... That'd be all right. Okay, so we're going to put our primer on, okay? This is very, very important to put on before you put makeup on. And the reason being is, one, it puts a barrier between your face and your makeup, which is what you need to do. Number two, it fills in the fine lines and wrinkles because you do not want, so you just put it right here, you do not want your makeup to go into your fine lines and wrinkles because that is just one hot mess, you know? Ah, uh, that's something on my eye right there. Huh, whatever. I'll figure it out later. I've been being better at every night, taking off my makeup and washing my face and using my shine wipes. I love my shine wipes. I can't live without them things. Like right now, I'm getting just a smidge low, and I'm like, mm, gotta order them. So I'm gonna be putting in a huge order today. Um, if anybody needs anything and <clears throat> I can get it ordered for you and get it out to you. All right, we're gonna wait for this to dry just a little bit longer. You're supposed to wait about five minutes, um, but I don't like to do it before, I have done it before I got online, but I like to do it in front of y'all because I like you to see how much you're supposed to put on. You're only supposed to put on about a dime size um, and then you rub it all over your face, all right? So today I'm gonna be working again with um, the mineral pigments. So I grabbed some different ones, so we're gonna give it a shot. We may do one eye one color and one eye the other color. You know, everything's up for a game. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eye primer. I'm gonna show you, it's very little bit. Doop, doop, doop. That, that's it. Okay, and then you just dab it between two fingers, like so, and then you just put it on your eyes. It's like a nude color, so it just it goes right into your skin. And you just do the other one. And of course, one always gets more than the other one. A black dot. 
Sorry, I have my mirror. My other mirror. I'm telling you, I brought it all downstairs. I tried to. <laughs> okay, so we're going to let that sit for just a second. While we're doing all that, I'm going to put on my um, lip exfoliator. This is gold. Like, I have noticed a huge, huge difference using this. And then once I'm doing, like, I put it on in the beginning and do my makeup. And then by the end, it's really into my um, lips, moisturizing them. Like, I don't even have to use anything else if I don't want to. I mean, they are that soft. But a huge difference in my lip glosses, my lipsticks, my lip stains. Huge difference. And they just tend to stay really, really, really dry now. I thought I had a hair tie. I did not. So we're just going to have to work with it, right? Plus, we're not doing our face till later. Because I'm trying to do eyes, then face. And I've noticed a huge difference to doing your eyes, then your face. Um, because if you do any, make any marks over here or you get anything anywhere else, you can just wipe it away with your um, foundation. Whether it be BB cream or whether it be the liquid foundation, which we all know is only good for what? Hey, look at my calendar. Three days, y'all. Three days. Fallout 4 is gone. Gone until maybe forever. That's sad. Well, breaks my heart. So y'all need to get it. Fallout 4. Okay, let me show you real quick. Bam. Bam. Yep. And this. So you're getting this for free, actually. Your liquid foundation. And then you get your concealer, your liquid foundation brush, and your primer. It's $139 plus tax after a flawless four. You get it now, it's 99 bucks. I mean, that's easy to think about. So, all right. I think we've let things set enough. Plus, um, see, I'm doing something new, so it's kind of different for me. So putting on the primer, once I'm getting my eyes done, then my primer has sat for the five minutes, right? So that's what they tell you to do. They tell you to let it sit for five minutes so it really gets in there and does what it's supposed to do, what it's made to do. Okay, is fill in those fine lines and wrinkles. Put a barrier between your face and your product. So, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a couple different things today, and it's all new to me. I thought, you know what, why not just get online? You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to bring palette one to do my brows. So I'm hoping my pencil's in here. And if it's not, might not be doing brows today. I knew I'd forget one thing. Because I looked at my palettes and I'm like, no, I'm going to be doing those other things. But you know what? We're going to make it work. Okay. So I already put on my primer. I am going to go ahead and put on um, Provoked. And I'm going to put Provoked all up here. Kind of as a transitioning color I think that's how you say it um, and it's kind of like a brick color but it's really pretty um, and I've really got attached to this color so and you don't need a lot I mean it takes I'm gonna use my um, deluxe brush okay so it looks like this you can see the color Here, I'll put some on my hand so you can kind of it's really pretty I don't know if you can see that or not kind of all the lighting I got up going in here, right? So you always want to tap off the color, pull it off, because you don't need a lot. I'm gonna to try to do most of it in the camera. You know what? I'm gonna do my lid too. I'm gonna to do all of it because this is like a perfect color. Especially I've noticed I watched a video, especially um when you're doing your um when I can't think of what it's called, your um Smoky eye. That's what I'm talking about. When I kind of did a smoky eye, which I was not, it looked okay. I was not impressed by it. Um, it's just going to take practice. But see, you know, even if you kind of go down in there, it's not going to matter. So that's why I'm really going to try to start doing my foundation after my eye makeup. I watched a lot of videos and it just, it honestly just makes sense. So that I'm not like, oh, keep it right there. Nope, who cares? Okay, so we're going to do the other eye, and you're just going to kind of go around. And this is a uh, mineral pigment color. Um, don't like your eye out. <laughs> Dave, you're crazy. 
Don't poke your eye out. I'll try not to. So you're just going to go around. So then when you're doing your face after it, that's what I thought you said. Hey, Michael. I didn't say hi, David, but hi. So, yeah, share, share, share my videos, guys. It helps me tremendously. Share, share, share. Okay, so I've went over both eyes with the provoked, and it is a very pretty color. Like, you could just stop with that if you wanted to. Um, yeah, look at that. See, just kind of go over it. Yesterday, yesterday's eye actually didn't turn out too bad. It was all right. I had to play with it a lot. Um, that's why I can't wait till I get a lot better at this. So then I'm not having to keep going over and over and over with it. So, okay. So then, oh, and I knew I did something wrong yesterday. Well, maybe not wrong because other people that's been doing it for a long time can get away with it because they know what to do. Um, they say don't start with a dark color first. Always do your other colors and then do your dark colors. So, remember when I did this one yesterday and I was like, ah, uh, yep, makes sense. Okay, so today I'm going to work with um, Glamorous. That was another color that um, my aunt had. And it's like this color. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me put some on my hand and see if you can see it. It's a really pretty, like a plum kind of color. Um, I'm trying to give her a bunch of ideas, and while I'm doing that, I'm giving you all ideas. These are very inexpensive. They're only like $12.50 $12 per one, and they last forever. I keep putting it in here because I want to get it dark enough so you can see what it looks like. So see kind of like the purplish color? But yeah, $12.50, man. Awesome deal. All right, so now I'm going to take... I don't know what I'm gonna take. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta get better at doing um, what brushes should you be used for what? Yeah, Michael, I am. It's unique. Um, I'm a pink presenter for unique. So and I've been doing it for about I've, I've I've had the kit and been doing it for about a year this month. Um, but actively really doing it um since like December somewhere around there. So and I'm actually having a lot of fun doing it. So if you share my videos, tell your friends and family, I would love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Keep saying okay. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy cold going on. So glamorous. We're going to use that on our lid. Okay. We're going to see what's going to happen with it. So I'm going to use the angle shadow sponge brush. And I'm going to use the angle side. Let's see what happens, right? So I wish I'd have brought one of my other mirrors down here. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, Summer! Yeah, tell your sister about it. Um, people are like, oh, I don't know how to do makeup. Well, if she says that, tell her that I didn't know how to use makeup either. I only used uh, eyeliner and mascara. That's it. That's all I used. I'm putting a little bit more on here. And I think I should have just used the deluxe brush. Because I think that's going to work out a little better. Okay. So I'm just putting the glamorous on my lid. And I know it looks like a hot mess right now. But see what I'm saying? You get this little stuff going on here because I messed up. So then when you put your foundation on after the fact, yes, you're right, Tracy, they do. Thank you. You guys do need to buy that for your mother. So, which is your mom's going to love you. You're going to be like the favorite child, I'm telling you. Um, you get the mask, the charcoal mask. I actually brought it down here. You get the charcoal mask, which is not like the one you're seeing on Facebook. You put it on your face, you wait five minutes, and you wipe it off your face. It's no ripping your face out, Okay. So it comes in a little container like this. The mask is in here. I have to buy one for myself or maybe my kids will um, because mine's almost gone. But see? Thanks, Tracy, for seeing that. Um, this. 
and then you get the lip exfoliator, awesome stuff, and then the rose water. I use these two on a daily basis every single day. You are awesome, Michael. I appreciate all your help, man. And like Summer said, the Flawless Four for sisters, wives, etc. Yeah, it's usually $139. This month for the next three days, it is only for $99. Your mom doesn't have to wear makeup. Um, this just makes your skin so soft. Um, and it rejuvenates your skin. And it um, just makes you feel like you're like a baby's butt, honest to goodness. Your lips... If you use a lot of chapstick, this is good for that because you do have to no longer use chapstick like a crazy person like I used to because it makes them really soft. And this, I just, anybody that gets it and sprays it on their face, they're automatically addicted. And it smells amazing. It calms you down. It just kind of, it's awesome. That's all I can say. It's awesome. It's fantastic. It's every one of those words wrapped up in a little bitty container. And... If they do wear makeup, um, you can use it as a setting spray. And also, you can use it for sunburns. I know, right? Crazy. All right. So, this is glamorous, okay? So, I'm putting it on my lid. And I'm going to blend it out here in a little bit, okay? No problem, Michael. You let me know if you need anything. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the other lid. I said we were going to do different ones, but I think I'm just going to keep with this color right now. And I'm just going to pat it on it. And I do think the deluxe brush works better for going straight on your lid. Now, the other brush I think would have worked well is the sponge brush that everybody's like, what do you use that thing for? I use it as I spray some, actually, rose water, and then I put it in my pigment, and you can put it on your eye, and bam, I should have done that. You know what? I still can. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so i got to remember what side I sprayed on. So you spray just a little bit of rose water on it. Two drops, two drops. I'm doing great. I live in Illinois now. Well, till like September, October, and then I'm moving again, which I'm okay with that. I would move every two years if they would let me, honest to goodness. Okay, so I've put it in to the pigment, right? And then I'm just going to dot it on my eye. And you're going to see the difference between one eye to the other. You gotta get quite a bit on here. Not quite a bit. When I say quite a bit, I mean like a smidge. And then you just pat on your eye. But see, you can tell the difference between one to the other. You can move with me, Summer. So it just gives it more of a, if you're going, I would say, this is my personal opinion. So I would use the rose water and do this type of a bam if I'm going like out to dinner, like to a fancy place or I'm going on a fancy date or something like that. But I mean, you can use it to go to work. Do whatever you want. There is no rules to this. So I'm just patting in here, see? And then if you get some on your face, it doesn't matter because you haven't done your foundation yet. I don't know why I haven't been doing that more. Why I didn't start it earlier. So see the difference? All right, so this is not as drastic. So that is, okay? Okay, so then I'm gonna take, <laughs> you should move. I can clean out the camper, that is not a problem. It looks like maybe October now, but it doesn't matter. You can move. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to take and I'm going to blend this out because you don't want any harsh lines. Harsh meaning you don't want to be able to tell from this to this. Okay? And it doesn't take much. Sometimes you have to blend a little more because this is a darker color to a lighter color. Not real light. And I told you where we thought about going, or we might be going. So, you know, I'm thinking beaches and tans. I think we could make it work. Hi, Kevin.
So you just blend, 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 blend. When in doubt, blend. And I did watch something the other day, and it was actually yesterday, last night, when I was sitting up going crazy. I'm like, I get so attached to this stupid internet stuff. It's like, oh, oh, I need this. I need to go look at this. It's like, holy moly. So I was on board for all three places. <laughs> I was really on board to go to Washington State, and now I can't because they only had uh, one spot for Harley's rank, and that one spot got taken, and I think it was from somebody from, like, New Jersey or something. So, Michael, everybody can come. Everybody can move. Why don't we all just move? <laughs> so, I don't know if you can tell real well in this lighting how this one is a lot darker than this one. And it just is the difference between, you know, more of a, a pop. And also, um, last night when I was watching the video, I was going somewhere with that. And I got so excited and lost train of thought. Anyways, but yeah, they said, you know, everything looks better with mascara. And you never thought about it. And it does. It makes everything look better with mascara. And personally, I have the best mascara. Right? I know. So there's that. Okay. Now, we're going to get a little crazy because we've been trying, we, yeah, we, all of us that have been together the last couple days. I don't know if you could handle my son. I think that would be great. Your son? Uh, I don't know. I have, I watch a four and a five and 11 month old and they give me a run for my money sometimes. I, they definitely do, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really going to miss them when we move. Um... Let's see. And yeah, Summer, you could so be my makeup model. <clears throat> Alright, Michael, you can too. I just seen a picture of a guy from the UK that is with Unique and he did his makeup. And I'm going to tell you, it looked awesome. Alright, now, I'm hoping... See, this risque stuff makes me very nervous because it's so dark. But we're going to give her a shot because we've already done our stuff. Let's get crazy. We're fixing. Ho, ho, 15. Oh, that is a tough age. Tough age. I'll give you that. Oh, Summer's good with kids. I mean, she's great with kids. Me? I don't know. <laughs> They're all right. Mine are almost 19 and 22 now, so I'm good. All right, so, risque. It's dark. Yeah. Crazy? Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to use very little because... A little goes a long, long way, especially with dark colors. And this is like a charcoal kind of, see if I can get it on here and show y'all what it just looks like. And you can tell when I'm showing you these colors how different they look on my eye because I've put from my hand to my eye with putting the primer on them. I mean, it's so many different things you can do. Get off there. Okay. So, we're just going to take, I put a little dot right here. Oh, this is going to be so, I wish I'd have brought a mirror down here. Maybe I can, nope, that's not going to work. Maybe I can use, I got my blush down here. Maybe I can use my blush mirror. So, you got to be able to see up close and personal, but I want you all to see as well. And remember, share, share, share the video. Sometimes I have a hard time getting these open. And they're not that hard. Okay, so don't be like me. Or when you open up and you go, why is that so weird? It's like one of the fun mirrors. Unique puts guard plastic pieces in all their products. So make sure you take that off. Because I'll tell you a funny story. On the lip glosses, I brought two of them down. Now this one may still have... No, it doesn't. Never mind. Now, they put the fun looking stuff on there as well. And you can't tell it because... Um, they, it goes right on the edges. So when I got these, I was like, how am I going to sell these suckers? You can't even really tell. <laughs> I found out I'd take the film off of them. Are you talking about the pigment somewhere? I almost dotted it, dotted it into my hot mess, I'm telling you. All right. Dot to dot. All right, so we're going to do a little bitty dot right here. Hopefully you guys can see. Okay, I know Tracy, right? That is hilarious. I was like, and then when I figured it out, I almost didn't want to tell anybody because I'm like, what the world? You crazy kid. 
What colors? What colors? Summer, what colors do you have? Because I have a lot of them, and maybe I could do a video to kind of help you figure out how to use them. I'm not going to lie, though. I'm figuring out how to use them as well. So you just do like a windshield wiper. And see, it does. It looks like a hot mess right now. It looks like I'm giving myself a black eye. But like yesterday when I did it, um, once I did that foundation, bam, it looked awesome. So we're doing just a little bit. And then I'm kind of bringing it down on the corner a little bit. Right? So there's that. If you wanted to. And I think I'm going to blend it out a little bit. And then I think I'm going to add some more of the Glorious on the lid a little bit. And when you're blending it out, you don't have to, like, confident corrupt it. Okay, I have those. I can do that, um, like, tomorrow, maybe. Because my goal this week was to do a video every day, no matter what. And I'm not going to lie to you. Yesterday, test me. Because I, what was it? Tracy was on here with me. I think it was three times upstairs. And then by the fourth time, I'm like, I'm just going to give up. And I'm like, no, you said every day. <laughs> So you don't blend really hard, just very little. So I went downstairs, came to the kitchen counter, and said, bam, we're doing this. So then you can kind of see the provoked. Then you can see the risque. And then I'm going to add a little more of the um, heartbroken. And then, then I'm going to do something else different. Yeah, I did bring it. Okay. Let's take our deluxe brush again. And we're going to use... Nope, I opened the wrong one. Glorious again. Oh, guess what? Last night, like, I have been horrible with some of my makeup, especially the blushes, and I have dropped two of them. I'm, I'm hard on stuff like that. Um, but I got on, actually, my girlfriend, Catherine, she was like, hey, they got this thing on, I guess, YouTube. Get on there and look at that. It's supposed to help save your blushes. So I thought, all right, I'll do it. So I get on there, and you use um, alcohol. You pour just a little, you pat your stuff down. So you're going to make a mess at first on your blushes. You pat it down and then you take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and put it on there. And then you, you kind of pat a little bit, not a lot because it's of course tacky. So it's still wanting to come up. I left them open last night. I mean, they still look like a hot mess, but I can clean them up a little bit. Um, but they're fine. Now they're not all broken up. I was like, what? A dollar bottle of rubbing alcohol saved my blushes. I was super I was very skeptical about it, but it worked. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here with this heartbroken just a little bit, because I kind of went a little too, on too far. And then you're just gonna pat it in there. So see, that is really pretty. I like it. So see, practice, practice, practice. So if you want some, or what you would do, what I've been learning, is you would take, um, isn't the confident the one that's like the brown? You would take that and you could put that all over your eye. And then the corrupted, I believe, is the darker one. Um, you would put that on your crease. And you can go not in your crease, in your crease, you can go a little above in your crease. But you should use or get one of the crease brushes through Unique. Um, or you can get them off of... Um, I started, not that I don't love unique brushes, I do, but I want more. And um, the Morphe brushes are pretty cool as well. Um, so you can get them through there too. So a lot of us unique girls use different brushes from different places and that's okay. Just to have more of a selection. So see, I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so then I'm just going to kind of blend that little harsh... And not a lot, like just very little. So see? And I'm actually going to leave the other eye the way it is. Because I'm going to give her... Um... See, I didn't even see that. I could have used rose water. You can use rose water for everything. 
So I'm going to leave the other eye, like I said, like that, so she can get an idea um, how, which, what she wants to do. I'm going to add a little bit of heartbroken, or it's not heartbroken, glamorous. I just started really using our deluxe brush, and I really like it. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. Use, use vodka on your blushes. One shot for your blushes, one shot for you. I think that's an amazing idea. I'm just going to blend out that harsh crease a little bit. So I'm going to leave it on here so I can kind of show her the difference. Um, there's not a huge difference. Hold on just a second. I'm going to add more definition to that. And the way that you can do that is you just add it to the corner and you do it in like a triangle form. So you go like right here and then you kind of just brush it around. Brush it around. All right. I would definitely do this again. And then we're going to do our foundation. Because we've done our eyes, so that's out of the way, right? We don't have to worry about getting it on our um, foundation and all that fun stuff. Um, now, I am going to do, because I've thought about it, like yesterday I was trying to do the concealer, right? And I was trying to do it with my hand. Well, I remembered that it was upstairs. I have a teeny tiny brush. And I'm going to put the concealer on up here, okay? We're going to do that after we do our foundation, okay? So... Let's talk about the Flawless 4 right quick. Okay, not right quick because we already talked about it earlier. What? Michael, that's no fun. I say do one shot for the blush and one shot for yourself. Or a, what does vodka go into? Um, vodka and orange juice, right? You gotta have fun while you're doing stuff. You're upset because you broke it, so let's have fun fixing it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Okay, so you gotta shake it up really well. And then you wanna make sure, and mine is almost gone, so you wanna make sure everything's out of the dopper. Okay? Then you wanna put it back in and you wanna shake it up again because you wanna shake everything that is inside of the dropper as well. It's all shaking up. Okay, so I'm gonna do something just a smidge different today. Um, I'm going to use my. Um, Liquid foundation. All right, that's perfect, Michael. Yes, play vodka bong. Ooh, I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right, Michael, you have a great day. All right, so liquid foundation. Now I'm gonna use some of my BB cream, but I'm only gonna use a little bit in the center because I want to see. I want to see how it looks. So I've never done it. I've mixed them together in a dish, but not like this. So. I'm going to put three dots on my brush, like so, okay? And then I'm going to take my BB cream, and I'm going to put just a, as I throw everything on the floor. Hello, 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 in the center. There's a hole in the center. I'm going to put the BB cream just a, like, okay, a little bit more came out, so I'm barely tapping it in there. See? We're getting crazy all up in here. Okay, then... I have to get it all up in my hair because I forgot a hair tie, but you know, we had to move. Okay, so if you're tuning in, you're going, oh my goodness, Miranda, what are you doing? I did my eyes first this time and yesterday, and um, I did this one with some um, Heartbroken, Provoked, and Risqué mineral, mineral pigments. And then I did this one just with Provoked, not Heartbroken, Glamorous, Glamorous as well, and... Um, that was it. So, I want to show you kind of the difference. I know. Interesting beauty cream. I know, right? Okay. So, we're just going to do this and pray. Because my face gets so dried out from this wonderful state I live in. Now, 
Okay, you can see that I have it a little bit crazy right here. See, why didn't you tell me that? I didn't know to do that. God. Then you just swoop up. And you see how of a clean line that makes? Oh, I love it. There's one girl that I watch a lot on um, Facebook. She is like awesome. Um, there's actually two girls that I really watch on Facebook that I really, really, really like. Oh, and the one does it, she does her face first and then does her makeup. Her makeup is flipping flawless. And then um, the other one does it like this. And boy, she gets all kinds of crazy doing her eyes. Like, it's a mess. Okay, so we got some crazies going on over here. So you take it and you just go up. And it makes that all go away. So she has tight, really tighter, a tighter. She's really good at it. It's amazing, right, Cassie? Do your eyes first. It's awesome. It's a great idea. I don't know why I haven't been doing it like that, but I'm going to start because I always make a mess. Plus, it cuts that line in your eyeshadow, makes it look so sharp and clean, but I need to get better at it because like whenever she's doing her makeup, I mean, she's got like eyeshadow all the way down here because she's not paying no mind to it because the flawless floor takes it right out. This stuff is still way too light for me. I'm really going to have to try it. That's why I try to use it. Plus it, that sun and dry going on there, who knows. Alright, now I'm going to do my concealer under my eyes. Alright, so you use very, very, like a smidge. See, I mean, it's like little. And then, let's see if I have, oh, I do have my blending bud. So my blending bud. Now, these, um, you can get through Unique. And they are all, actually all pretty awesome. This one, and there's a little pink one, which I dropped it when I was walking down the stairs telling me stuff. Um, but. These are awesome, and you can clean them. Like, I use the Gender Bender brush, and I get that from um, a posh girl. Her name is Samantha, and I can get you that um, link. But I get that, and washes them out amazing. I was like, holy cow. And then just let them dry overnight, and you're good to go. So, all right. So then we're going to go under your eye, okay, because you want to get rid of the circles. And then you want to come down, and you want to do, like, a triangle, okay, because you want to pull it away. So then you're just going to dap it on there. Don't swipe it because when you swipe, um, it pulls your makeup and you don't want to do that. So, and then if you just come up, it gives it even more of a clean line. Today I started putting my foundation on. I was like, <laughs> they are very hard to break. Especially since, you know, when I started doing Unique, I was, I did the foundation first and then I seen this girl and I'm like, and I'm telling you, every single time, like, I'm doing it that way. I'm doing it that way next time. And I'll be danged if I would forget. Oh, my God. So, yesterday, when I had all those, the weather and all that stuff going on, I was like, um, nope, I'm doing my eyes first. And then today, I had to remind myself, do your eyes first. So, a couple more times, it'll make it just be fine. Okay, so you're just going to kind of blend that in. And I'm getting, should be getting today, I think, or tomorrow, my Scarlet Concealer in. So then we can really, really work on some stuff. It's the lightest one we have, and to really make things pop. Because I'm going to start teaching myself how to do sculpting. Um, I have a thing upstairs, Sculpting Trio. I have just not, I think, honest to goodness, I don't even know if I've used it twice. It's not that the products aren't great. And I know you're like, mm -hmm, you have to say that. No, they are really good. I'm just not good at it yet. So, but I'm going to get better. Okay, so there we go. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take, and I got these brushes from the BX. They're called, and I see a lot of people using them, Real Technology by, there's really, where's the one I have is bigger. Um, writing is Sam and Nick, I think. They're a little purple and 
little black edges on them. They are awesome. I got one, two, three, four, five of them, I think, for 10 or $15, I think. Um, but I'm planning on going back to the BX. But I did see them in Walmart. I had to go to Walmart for... Yeah, I don't even know. I don't think I need to go for anything. I just took the niece and nephew to get him out of the house because I was falling asleep that day. I'm like, let's get out of the house. <laughs> Aunt Miranda's going to fall asleep. Or what they call Aunt Miranda. Okay, so I'm going to put some more concealer on my hand. I'm getting good at realizing how much. Man, that looks so... Maybe it's just me, but I think it looks really good. I think I need to come out more on it. Like, come down here when I'm doing it so then when I do pull it up, there's more of a crease. But not bad for a rookie. So if you're joining, no, I've done them two differently because I have an aunt that's going to a bar mitzvah. And these are some of the colors that she has. So I'm trying to help her um, do her eyes and make them as easy as possible. Um, so this one has, they are the same, but this one has the color risque, which is like a charcoal kind of color. And it comes in our mineral pigments, which they are awesome. I'm just learning how to use them. I usually use the palettes or, of course, if anybody knows any of the cream shadows, they're my favorite. Okay, so I'm going to take the liquid fountain. Look, I'm lying to you. I'm going to take the concealer and I'm going to put it right up here on my brow bone. Okay, so let's see if I can't get my mirror out again. Try not to break it. Because it's going to put like a highlight. Now, this is my concealer, which is Organza. So I'm excited about getting Scarlet in because Scarlet is so much lighter. See how that looks? Oh, looks so much better. And then what you do is you take your blending brush, which it fell, and I'm not getting it right now. So I'm just going to take this one and kind of just pat it around. Now you get the same concept, or kind of the same concept, with the um, brow palette. But if you already have all this stuff, use this stuff. Especially if you're thinking about getting the Flawless 4. I mean, dang, I just used the concealer for two different things. One in my eye and one on my brow bone. But do you see the difference how that makes? So, okay, let's try it on the other one. And I'm sure it doesn't look perfect because I'm just learning how to do this, but it doesn't look bad. You're just highlighting that area to give it more of a definition. I wish I wouldn't have dropped that stupid brush. <laughs> this one doesn't do too bad. But you see? I might have got a little more on the one eye. But you know what? I told you. We're doing some new stuff. So you guys are with me on doing new stuff. It may come out great. It may come out looking horrible. Who knows, right? So there's that. I'm trying not to fall off my stool in the kitchen. That would be a hoot. I'm sure. And then I would get like a million followers. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Okay, so I really like that. Probably do need to blend it out a little more. Like I said, my blending brush, I'm going to have to wash now. It's on the floor. So let's just take this little brush, see what it'll do. But then you take the, the risque that I did and to give it more definition, um, you use like the crease brush or something equal to it and you just make like a triangle. Well, not a whole triangle, but yeah. It's so hard looking in the camera and trying to do this because it looks so much different from the camera to here. I mean, not, I shouldn't say so much different. It just looks different. That's why I always take after pictures so you can kind of get an idea. I really like that. What do y'all think? You like that? Yes? No? Maybe? You're like, no, Miranda. It's so not my cup of tea. <laughs> That's alright. Okay. Yeah? You like it? Good. And then, what are we going to do? Still got my lip exfoliator on. I'm telling you guys, you need to buy the Adore Her Bundle. I'm buying two, okay, because it is an awesome deal, <clears throat> $79. It's like you're getting, <clears throat> it's not like, <clears throat> I wrote it all down, I forgot my pad paper. Okay, this bundle is $79. You're actually only paying a dollar for this. 
because it's like seventy nine ninety nine. Oh, it's ninety nine dollars. Okay, I'll, I'm thinking. Of, I did all the pricing. Okay, so it's ninety nine dollars. Is that right? Ninety nine or ninety nine dollars, ninety eight dollars, something like that. I can. I'll get you the paperwork because I wrote it all down. I was like, oh, let me get the paper, and I totally I forgot it. So, um, but you get you're like paying a dollar for this, and you get the exfoliator. Every day I use it, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use that. No, every day I use it. Um, this is the black black mask, charcoal mask. So mine's almost gone. Okay. Um, and it's not the mask you see on Facebook or yeah, no, it's not. You put it on your face and you rip your face off. That is not how this rolls. Um, I am going to do a video probably, probably Saturday, um, with all these products and then the, the skincare line. But, um, you just put it on, you wait five minutes, you see it start bubbling and it feels kind of, it's like tingles your face, right? And then, um, it turns like a gray color, and then once it starts to look like it's um, um, drying, then it's done. It's taking out all those detox out of your face, the oxygen back into your face. I mean, oh, it's awesome. So, and then you get the rose water, and I use this for everything, and I use it every day. So I use these two things every single day in my life. And you're going to say, I'm not really going to use it. Yeah, I didn't think so either. I really didn't. I'm like, yeah, whatever. But it is. It's flipping awesome. And it's $79. And <clears throat> see, some will even tell you. And she lives in Indiana. She'll tell you. It's good stuff. It is great stuff. Um, but I use it for my makeup. I use it for my face. Because one, it takes the red out. I mean, not all the way, but it takes a little bit of it out. But it's the smell of it that is just wonderful. It smells like roses. Um, and it just, it's like a calming thing. So, if you need something calming in your life, get the rose water. Plus, it's good for sunburns. Um, it's just, it's a really, really, really great product to have. Um, and the, the lip exfoliator, it's awesome. You roll it up. Um, I usually start putting it, I put it on, in, well, I put it on when I do my makeup. If I'm not doing my makeup, I still put it on. Because then I just keep it on. And it makes my lips so silky smooth. And I said this earlier. It helps with your lip glosses, your lip stains, that type of stuff to stay on your lips. Because your lips have to be exfoliated for that stuff to stay on there. Right? Um, and the mask. And use the mask like two, three times a week. Um, sometimes I only use it one time a week. So, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, rose water is awesome. It is like the one thing... If you have to have, if you have very little makeup or no makeup at all, it is the one thing you need to have in your makeup bag <laughs> is the rose water. <laughs> Honest to goodness. Right? Yes, it is. It's freaking awesome. So, okay. Um, let's do our mascara. I should have had my one friend jump on so she could watch, and I didn't even think about it. So I'll, I'll text her later. Go watch the video. Because <laughs> people do have a hard time with the um, mascara. Because, let's not lie, it is different. Um, and it does take time. When I first got it, this is the first product I ever bought. Um, and I got it, and I'm like, holy cow, this is a pain in the butt. So I put it down, and I went back to my Mary Kay stuff. Well, then I was like, I really, I like it. I think it's great. But it wasn't what this was doing, right? And this was before the new formula. So, um, and it always be in the back of my head. Or I'd use some other kind of mascara. And I'm like, I do like that. But it's just so hard. It's not that it's hard. It just takes practice. Like anything else. It just takes practice. Now, there is nothing else I will use. I had just bought some store bought. bought let me get my tongue untied. Store product. Um, it was wet and wild. I put on my eyes because this one eye drives me crazy. And it seems like if I do what like you do with your eyes, you put a primer or your face, you put a primer. If I put like a primer mascara on this one eye, it tends to work better for me. Um, and of course I left it upstairs. So, because I had to come downstairs because our internet sucks and I made Harley buy me this thing that plugs in the wall upstairs. Thank you to my friend Stephanie for telling me about it. So I can be in my makeup room and have everything to my fingertips. But... Practice and you just you just practice and if you get the shine wipes you wipe it off and you do it again So and if you get too nervous just do the um, Gel start with the gel and then add some of the fibers to it. You know, it just it's like anything else It just takes practice. Okay, and let's see how much I get it on my face today That's what I usually do, right? All right, let me see if I can't get this a little more in okay 
And can't move things very much. I'm out my kitchen counter. Okay. I'm trying to get up my hair. So you put the My only complaint now is it's not go good for lazy girls like me on some time of the day. Now is not a good day to mascara. Now, um, true but not true. If you use just the mascara, if you're lazy and you're like, I just don't want to do the fibers, great. Just put the mascara on, the gel on. You can just do that. I have a girl that does do that. Now, if you're talking about, like, when you wake up in the morning and you've got it down here on your eyes, just take your shine wipes and wipe it away. Um, that's what I've done. Like, if I get up, see? How much can you get on your face today, Miranda? Um, I didn't blink enough. So then I'll just take my mask or my foundation here in a minute and fix it. Um, so I just take it. But if it's getting, like, all over your eye, then no, you can't. <laughs> You do have to go ahead and take it all off. Okay, so there's your gel, right? And then, oh, big thing, big thing, big thing, big thing with the fibers. Wipe them on the back of your hand or roll them on the back of your hand because you want to get all those fibers onto the wand, right? So then you go about mid-eyelash up and you put the fibers on. Now, a girl that I watched, one of the girls that I always watch, had a good idea, and I haven't tried it yet. Um, I'm going to try it when I'm not on Facebook Live. But she puts a mirror like down and she does everything down. Which helps because then you get everything on your eyelashes like you're supposed to. And you don't run the risk of poking yourself in the eye. <laughs> That's what a lot of people are worried of. Poking themselves in the eye. Okay, so typically I would take my blow dryer and blow dry my eyes. Um, I can't because I don't have my blow dryer. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So I'm going to let those dry. I should have, hopefully tomorrow, or I may be back out down here tomorrow, which is fine. It's something different, different scenery. Um, bring my eyelash curler down here. Because that's another thing, the reason why I do the blow dryer, one is to get the excess fibers off, which is typically not a lot. But it also curls my lashes up for me. So it's a two for one, -er, man. I am a hot mess today, I'm telling you. I'm getting stuff everywhere. It's got some on there. I'll let that dry a little more and then I'll get it all the way off. So all you do is, like I said, I, I have not tried it. So I've watched her do it and she's down like this and she's putting them on. Um, but I have not personally done it. And I just seen it yesterday. Yeah, a lot of people have a hard time. Um, like my mom's like this, getting stuff to close to her eye. Because she's like, and she's backing away from you as you're like, get, stop. <laughs> she did better. Um, but when I do, when I do mascara, I'm like, you go do it yourself. I'm not, I'm not doing this all the way back. <laughs> Is everybody struggling today? Well, then good. I don't feel so bad. Okay, so then you go in with your gel again. And you make sure that you put a significant amount on there. Okay? And this one eyelash is sticking literally straight out. And then you just do, we're going to wait on that one a little bit longer. Now I'm going to try, hopefully this is dry enough. This thing, this brush, I'm telling you, ugh, another thing in your makeup bag. So you see that I had all that nonsense. Because it still has product on it, I just, and it fits so well under your eye. And Summer and I have had this talk on the phone. That it just goes so well under your eye, it fixes anything. Man, I think I'm going to get online with you all more often. I do makeup online and it doesn't look too bad. But anyways, back to your eyes. I get it. When I first got contacts, I was like... <laughs> and it's just something you get used to. Now, the one thing I'm trying to learn is tight line. And that's where you take, like, your eyeliner of whatever color. And you go on the inside of your eye. 
hot mess. I'm telling you, hot mess. Now, when you're going back over, make sure that you're generous with your gel because you do want to lock in your fibers. I still need a new phone. Keeps telling me your storage is almost full. And I don't understand phones enough to care. Harley's like, you probably need to know these things. I'm like, for what reason? Why do I need to know these things? If, God forbid, something was to happen to you, I would take the stupid thing to Sprint. Be like, fix this. I don't need to know these things. But he's a dude. And some girl, I mean, a lot of girls know it. Like, what's gig bite? Don't care. What's another bite? Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Maybe I should care. I don't care. All right. So, I'm going to have to hold my hair back a little bit. I'm going to use to your bottom lashes. Um, now, some of them can take it and grab it and do this. That makes me nervous to do that. Because I would look like I got a black eye. So, then you go on here. All right, Summer, so tomorrow I'm going to use Corrupted and the other one. I know what the other one is. I just can't think of what it's called right now. Confident. So they are a brown, and I want to say it's like a darker brown. They're really pretty. They were the ones that were the, um, if you spent so much last month, they were part of the kudos. That was a pretty cool kudos. If you spent so much, you got this. If you spent so much, you got this, this, and that. It was awesome last month. It's awesome this month. I don't think there's been one month this went by that I'm like, mm, I don't need that. Like, I want to stock up on the um, Adore Her Bundle just because I know that I'm going to use all that stuff. And I'm going to use it like crazy. Sweet. You're awesome, Sauce. Hey, speaking of, um, Summer, did that girl at work ever, um, or whomever it was, ever decide if she wanted the foundation? Okay. Fluffing the hair out a little bit. Makes it look a little better. Um, I only brought black eyeliner down, which that's another thing I'm going to try to learn. One, the wing. I'm, I'm almost giving up on that thing. Um, but I am going to try to learn how to do the line across. I've done it. I just think it looks so stupid. Oh, cool. She should get it this month. It's free. Then you get all the other stuff. It's like 99 bucks. So I understand though. I get it. All right. So, and then when people just barely, like they put it under, I don't know how they do it. So I just try to just put very little on anymore. Just on my waterline a little bit. And then when they bring it down, that's another way. There's a lot of stuff I have to learn, and I'm okay with that. Because I'm pretty impressed with what I have learned. All right, so I brought two lip glosses down. Um, I wore one yesterday that my aunt had, which was Luscious. And I brought two other ones down, and one is Ladylike. And you were going to just better. Good job. That's my mom. That's exactly how she was, mechanic's daughter. I mean, he was a barber, but he could do, he could work on anything. So she knows everything there is about cars. Everything there is about cars. So her and Harley, when she comes or we go there, that's all they talk about. And can we just say, like I said earlier, mascara makes everything look better. I mean, really. Doesn't it? Crazy. Oh, you're so sweet, Summer. Thank you. You are my BFF. And you should see, Summer, you should see Tracy's um, daughter. She can do some makeup. I looked at her pictures last night, and I was like, dang, she's good. I need to learn from her, too. Okay, so I'm going to actually use um, Ladylike or Lethal. Let's do Lethal, just because. Maybe we'll do Ladylike tomorrow. And it is a red. So I'm going to dot with just a little bit. Is that a little bit of sugar left? Not much. I've probably licked a lot of it off. <laughs> so we're going to see. This is lethal. And if you guys didn't notice, I have labeled all my stuff. And it has made my life so much easier. That two hours I took out of my life watching TV, which I do anyway, doing this. Mm. 
Wow. Red lip smudge. <laughs> okay, out of the comfort zone a little, and that's okay, right? They're red. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I think it's okay. It's something I'd have to get used to. Now I know the girl that's wearing it, she can pull off this stuff. She looks awesome in everything she wears. So, but I wanted to show her how this look would look. Um, personally, me, what I would do is I would, because I really like the eyes, I don't want to take away from the eyes, I would have used um, one of my lip liners, and I would have done that with a little bit of gloss, because I really want my eyes to pop. And my eyebrows, but I don't have anything to do my eyebrows with today. And that's okay. Um, let's do some blush, because I did bring that down. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I did bring the blush. So this is seductive. This is one of my very, very, very favorite um, blushes because it's not too crazy. And right now, oh, dang, you'll have to clap. You'll have to tag her afterwards. All right. So, like I said, tap it because you want very little. Like I said, this gives you just a little bit of coverage or coverage, just a little bit. And, you know, you probably do need it to make the, the face so it goes on better. And you might get a little bit of the fibers on your face, but, I mean, it happens. What do you do? You know what you do? You go, done. And it's done. <laughs> so, but I think that's it. Do you guys have any questions? So, share my video, like my video, any comments, questions, concerns. But remember, we only have three days left for the... Um, Flawless 4, which is liquid, uh, foundation, the primer, the concealer, and the brush, which I've showed you. The brush, I use so many different things. Under here, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's that's what I, I don't like. Yeah, like a pinkish maybe lip or what have you. The other one, you know what, maybe the other one would be better. Let me wipe this off real quick. Let's try something. So you can get all these for 99 bucks. Let's real quick, you get this for free. And I can help you pick out a color. Let's do ladylike. It's more of a pinkish color. Maybe that'll work. Let's try it. They got to brought them both down, huh? It's like a... Yeah, this is more toned down. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot prettier. Most definitely. So we would do ladylike. So lethal, I, you know what? I'm not a red lipstick kind of person, so I don't know when I would wear lethal. But you know what? Who knows? I may decide one day, you know what? You're wearing red lipstick and put me some vein on. I think that's red lipstick. It's a color. And say, and get it down. Why not, right? Like I say, when in Rome. One day, Rome. One day, one day, one day. So, I think, and that's it. And then, I'm telling you, adore her bundle. And thank you, ladies, for helping me out today. And tell people about that stuff. Because sometimes I kind of get a little sidetracked. Oh, you know what we can't forget? We cannot forget to do our illuminator. Because we need a little shine in our life. Right? And these are so easy, and they come in like little tubes on your Cupid's bow. See? On your chin. Put it on your nose. I am ready for my close up. <laughs> true, true. If we go, I don't know yet. I'm still kind of teetering on that. Going to Chicago because, uh, I mean, I could if I could take my camper, it would be awesome. But you have to stay in a hotel. They don't have campsites, and I don't know. I don't know. With a gold brown eye. True, 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 true. 
with a brown, then do red lips. That would make a lot of sense, actually. That would make a lot of sense. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow, Summer, when I do the Confident and Corrupted. Um, I'll do the one of the red lipsticks, not red lip gloss. Lip glosses, I'll do red lipstick. So we're probably going to find ourselves tomorrow back in our, my kitchen, which is, you know what? I, I like it. I like this. It's something different. Um, I did find some new um, signs to put on my walls that are um, like confident kind of things. They're pretty cool. I got them at Walmart for like five bucks. But, all right. So, I'm going to go take pictures of this outside. We ain't got the eyebrows on today, but you know what? We don't got to have brows every day. They matter, but not every day. So, um, thank you ladies for all that you've done to help me out today. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye, guys. Bye, Tracy. Bye, Summer. Love you guys. Bye.